so tour day two is in the books um didn't accomplish what i wanted to accomplish today we got to make some changes and it's mainly beans i'm worried about but it's also the fact that i want to see the places i set out to see Good morning guys. I didn't sleep well at all last night. Oh, I got a headache too. I think I slept on my neck wrong. Oh my god, it is cold this morning. It's probably like in the 40s. I'm pretty sure it is. Bean stayed cuddled up with me all last night. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm sorry I got mad at you. All in all guys, you might get frustrated with your animal, but they offer you company that way you don't have to stay out in the middle of nowhere all alone you know so it wasn't too bad um, it was nice to have this little girl to cuddle with ow watch those claws ow those claws are sharp eat your breakfast beans eat your breakfast <laughs> this is how close we were to the highway guys <laughs> I gotta get things packed up before the sun comes up and somebody notices I'm here if somebody hasn't already noticed I'm here. <laughs> Beans, you're supposed to be eating. Eat your breakfast. Eat your breakfast. <laughs> all right, guys, we're all loaded up. Ready to get back on the road. Right, Beans? Right? Ready to get back on the road. That's where I camped last night, guys. It was pitch black. I was like, I gotta get some sleep. So I pulled off right here and tried to set up my tent in this grassy area right here, in the dark, no less. What a pain in the butt that was. Oh well, what can you do sometimes, you know? We gotta get back on the road. Oh guys, these hills are killer. And to haul your tubby butt around the beach, it ain't been easy. I'm kidding, she's not tubby. There's a lot of weight in this rig, guys. It is not easy getting up these hills. Not easy at all. Well, that's just great. Oh man, this hill is killing me. <sighs> will this uphill, will it ever end? <laughs> oh my God, man, this thing is so heavy. Oh, I just want a little downhills. Pray for some downhills. We like downhills. <sighs> we don't like hills. <laughs> not this uh, Not this long a one. You know, a couple minutes you're at the top, you go back down, those could be quite fun. But these never ending hills, Oh my god, man. Oh look, a dead bird. He probably got tired of flying uphill. Beans, where are you? I don't know if you can see her, guys. I'm trying to get her to drink some water. She drank a little bit, but I'm worried about her overheating in that uh, in that cat carrier. Because of the traffic, she bolts right underneath the uh, the trailer. Get her back out of there and put her back in there i'm trying to get her to drink all of that but i guess she's not going to uh it's been constantly stopping making sure beans is okay 
never ending uphills. <laughs> you know, I really wanted to leave beans with somebody. I think it probably would have been the best and smartest idea. I know it makes for a cute video having a cat popping its head out of its basket while you're riding down the road, but that's not reality, guys. Reality is the cat's extremely scared because of traffic. The cat's extremely scared because you're moving and the scenery's changing and there's all these weird smells and sights that the cat's just not used to, you know? Now, maybe Beans will get used to that, but I, I don't know. I don't think so, you know? So, we'll see. We'll see how things progress, but it's been very, very slow going. I have not made the miles at all that I wanted to make, so... Yeah, it is what it is, I guess. God, I gotta push hard on the downhills. That's how heavy this rig is. I made a mistake with this, but I had to bring a lot of extra stuff that I wasn't planning on bringing. Oh, a downhill, yay! But then another damn uphill. It never fails. Luckily, I found this uh, little church. It had a porta potty in the back. It's just a little church way out here on the Colorado countryside. I really needed that porta potty. That helped out a lot. Thank you, church. Oh, divine intervention at its best. Ooh. Normally, on my road bike my bike Friday I would cruise down here about 50 40 mile an hour can't do that right now on this thing with this trailer on it The sucky thing about Wyoming is there is hardly any services. I mean, you can go 30, 40 miles of some pretty tough hills and not reach any services. About a mile way down that hill over there, they said there was a rest stop. And I'm like, oh, thank God. Freaking vending machines, water services, all that stuff. I get here. <laughs> nope. It's a dinky little porta potty, basically. It's just a couple bathrooms, no vending machines, and the water fountains don't work. <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. We love to see that sign, guys. We love to see it. 6% grade. I think, I think we're going to be going downhill finally. Oh my god, it's been so slow going because my rig is so heavy. I made a lot of stupid mistakes, guys. I'm an idiot. Um, there's just nothing more to be said about it. I'm an idiot and I should have packed a lot lighter. I wasn't expecting this though. We're in some Wyoming town. I'm not sure which one we're at, but I gotta find something to eat. I have not had anything all day except for a cliff bar and that's it. amazing when you get some food in your belly how much better you feel I think I was running literally on empty look at that guys <sighs> that's supposed to be some sort of recreational area 
we have a little bit of a change of plans and I want to talk to you guys about those change of plans real quick. But first I need to find a place to stop, let Bean stretch her legs. You come to these recreational areas, right? And <laughs> what does it say? No overnight camping. Uh, it's really aggravating because there's no place you can camp. If you try to camp in the city limits, they have ordinances against that. You try to come out to the recreational parks, they got rules against that. It's almost like you cannot camp as a cyclist. You almost have to do it in dangerous spots. What if you're traveling by bicycle and you can't afford to stay in a hotel every, every day of your travels? You know what I'm saying? It just gets really, really irritating. I burn up my legs crossing that mountain. You guys have no idea how heavy this is. I, I ran out of water. I thought I was in trouble because the steep, you know, 6% to 8% grades were, they were a lot, especially as much weight as I got on this thing. And I was running out of water really quickly. I have a three liter bladder on my Camelback. I drank all of that. Um, I have a six liter bladder in my trailer, but I don't usually want to fill it up because it's so heavy. It makes this setup even more heavy. And unfortunately, there ain't really nothing I can do about that, you know? It's like this. Between these towns, it's, there's such a vast distance and there's a huge amount of hills. And then there's a huge amount of mountains as well and it gets very taxing pulling that weight, this weight over that. It's massively hard. And then on top of that, you go through water like crazy. As you guys saw, it was a never ending uphill. It was just like, uh, uh. it was so aggravating because I wasn't making the time that I would love to make, you know, and I didn't make the mileage today that I wanted to make. So, um, yeah, we were out in the middle of the desert. We were running out of water. Beans was not happy. And I don't think Beans is going to take well to any more of this. So we made some changes. My brother is going to come down and get me. He's going to come down from Jackson Hole. He lives up in Jackson Hole. Okay, guys? He lives up in the area I'm biking to. And a lot of you are like, well, doesn't that defeat the purpose? I thought you wanted to ride up there. I do. I'm just going to use my time touring and camping around the Tetons and Yellowstone. And I'm going to offload beans at my brother's house. And I'm going to offload my heavy, heavy gear because I brought way too much stuff. I, I wanted to be prepared. I'm a person that loves to be prepared. I wanted extra tires. I wanted extra uh, tanks. I wanted, you know, sleeping bag, a bivy sack, this, that, and the other. But the problem is it's too much weight for these mountains and it's killing me it is it's like holy crap guys i probably went like 50 miles today half the distance i did the day before and i feel more tired today than i did you know when i was cycling through colorado it is just not good so my brother's on his way down it's going to take five hours to get here so i'm pretty much going to have to um, find something to do until then find some place to you know hang out and uh let me stretch her legs and uh yeah he's gonna come down and get me we're gonna load all this crap up into his truck when i get to his house i'm going to uh, offload a lot of unnecessary heavy gear and i'm going to offload beans because i don't want to put beans to this stress she has not been happy guys i'm not even kidding you it's been miserably hot She's not like those semis that were whizzing past my head, as you guys saw. So tour day two is in the books. Um, didn't accomplish what I wanted to accomplish today, but uh, we're gonna continue tour day three up in the Tetons and up in Yellowstone. And we're going to look at some spectacular views. We're gonna ride some cool places on the Brompton. And we're going to do some camping as well. Today is probably the slowest I've moved in a long time because of those massive hills. And I don't know what the terrain looks like from here up to there, but I guarantee it's going to be more of the same. And like I said, I can't keep moving this slow. I moved really, really slow today in the burning hot desert. And <sighs> poor Beans, man. Beans is a trooper, aren't you? aren't you i'll let you out we'll run around a little bit i gotta find a place to park the brahmi and 
I want to uh, sit and wait for my brother and just hang out for a little while. I'm so unbelievably tired. My legs are burnt. I mean, you see the bird legs I got, guys. I don't have the legs to haul this kind of weight up mountain passes. That's what I did today. And how I did it, I'll never know, but I nearly gave myself a heat stroke. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna sit and wait for the bro, and uh, yeah, that's what we'll do. We gotta make some changes, and it's mainly beans I'm worried about, but it's also the fact that I wanna see the places I set out to see. Yep, we're gonna wait, and uh, hopefully uh, the, the next day, I don't know, I might continue this vlog when my brother gets down here. I don't know, we'll see.